Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome to today's video. Um, don't mind my Dragon Ball robe hanging in the back there. It's just ignore it. I'm a turn. Anyways, uh, today we got a pretty cool one. So, um, what was it last week, two weeks ago, I had a video uh, telling you guys about everything I was doing uh, to the S4 and uh, where we stood and how I had to build an intake exhaust manifold and a few other things. Uh, well, that plan changed a slight bit. Um, we're not building an exhaust manifold anymore. We're going to use some prefab stuff. Uh, still building the intake manifold. And uh, today we just have a bunch of boxes here. So we're going to do a pretty sizable unboxing here. Uh, just seeing what we got, explain to you guys how we're going to use it all and um, about how long I think this is going to take. And then we you know, can multiply that by two and then add three weeks. And that's probably how long it'll take uh, for us to get it all done. But anyways, before Without further ado, let's get to all these boxes. They've been waiting. Okay, so we have the biggest box here and why not start with that? Actually haven't checked uh, what's in a few of these. Um, a lot of them I did already open just to get an idea of what I got and to make sure I got everything I ordered. Uh, but we'll start here. If I could ever get this box open. Okay, so the first box, uh, we won't get into too much detail into this one, but uh, it's just a bunch of three inch intercooler piping uh, that we're gonna be using to build the piping for the car, of course. Uh, so this stuff is all uh, kind of like a, a matte finish because we're gonna get it all painted after and it's all gonna get welded and whatnot either. So the finish didn't really matter, the polishing and all that. Uh, but this is the piping we're gonna be using to make the, um, you know, routing for the intercooler and also part of the intake. Got a bunch of clamps in here and a bunch of silicone connectors that we won't be using. We'll probably be using uh, those uh, nice vibrant clamps for these. So that's the first box. Move on to the next one. All right, so our next box here I already had pre-opened. Makes things a little easier. So this one is an R32 throttle body, uh, which is what we're going to be using uh, for the VR6. So uh, bigger than what I got in the S4 uh, before that with the 2.7T. Uh, it's still filthy, so I got to clean it up, uh, make sure everything works correctly. But this is most likely what we're going to be using on the uh, VR6T build. So I'll put that off to the side. All right, next we have the connector for the throttle body, which will be necessary since we got a new throttle body. Okay, and up next, uh, just from the feel of it, I think it's vacuum hosing. And that's exactly what it is. Just a bunch of vacuum hose for us to use for different things. Next box we have here is from Nubworks. Uh, make sure to check out their website. They have some pretty awesome stuff if you're into VRs and a few other Volkswagen engines. So from then we have a bunch of stuff for our intake manifold that we're gonna be putting together. So we have the flange that we're gonna be using to mate to the R32 throttle body. So it's O-ringed, got an extra O-ring in there, which is awesome. Uh, prevents us from having any leaks and you know, we don't have to replace gaskets all the time. Ideal. Continuing with the Nubworks box, uh, the next thing we have is a bunch of O-rings. Uh, that is going to be for our next item, uh, which we will show you in a bit. Uh, then we have this coolant uh, temp sensor adapter. So this goes to the OEM location for the VR6 coolant temp sensors. And then on the other side, this gives us a nice uh, threaded MPT plug, uh, which we can put any sensor we'd like into. So ideal there. And then we have our boost and vacuum reference block. So we'll need that for our blow off valve vacuum references for brake booster and a few other things. And then the piece de resistance from Nubworks is this here. So this is the inlet portion of our 
intake manifold. Uh, so these will feed each of the uh, runners and we have a nice uh, smooth bell uh, going in there. So this is made out of a single piece of machined aluminum and it bolts onto the stock uh, cast bottom piece of the VR6 intake manifold. So this was made for a 12 valve, but they also sell these for the 24 valve as well. Really nice looking product. Really haven't gotten my hands on it yet, but just from the look and feel of it, amazing. So we have this and the O-rings that go on the back, which you'll see here, as well as some extras, which is nice. And then our throttle body flange, um, all from Nubworks. And uh, this is what we're gonna be using to put our intake manifold together. Only thing we're waiting on right now is just some sheet metal uh, to make the plenum uh, for the intake. Uh, but that'll be pretty much it there. All right, the next box is like super long, so we'll start here. And because of how long it is, I have an idea of what it is. All right, so this is our stainless steel piping for our downpipe. So this is three and a half inch uh, stainless steel, 304 stainless, uh, which we're gonna be using to make our downpipe. It's gonna be a bunch of pie cuts and a lot of fun and a lot of welding. So uh, definitely stay tuned for that one. Okay, so next box we have here is actually a dual regulator that we're going to be using uh, to back purge the stainless welds we're going to be doing for all this stuff. So for the downpipe and a few other things, we're going to need them. So dual regulator, that way I could uh, uh, meter my back purge and not waste gas. So this one I kind of cheated with and already opened it. But what we have in here is a nice stainless steel again 304 stainless uh, flex uh, just a small I, I believe this is a nine inch flex uh, to give us a, a little bit of breathing room for thermal expansion on the downpipe a few more from eBay Okay, so first thing we have is a blow-off valve flange for our towel cue, so we can make that together there. So that's nice. Piece of aluminum. And the next one is a gasket and adapter to go from the tile two valve to, uh, well, two valve, two hole <laughs> to the uh, V-band uh, 44 millimeter wastegate. So it kind of gives something away for one of the other boxes we're gonna open, but we'll keep going with it. All right, let's see what we got here. All right, so we have some studs and some nuts. And we have a T3 to V-band adapter. So this is going to our turbo, this is going from our exhaust manifold. Again, further giving away that uh, we did a little something different with the exhaust manifold. That could stay right. Okay, now here we have a three and a half inch V-band. So that's gonna connect uh, our downpipe to the rest of our exhaust. Okay, and this one is kind of a dual box. Same thing in both boxes though. And this is the fan we're gonna be using, or one of the many fans we're gonna be using to cool the car. They have to be small, clearances are tight, but we got enough of them to where I hope we won't have any overheating issues. We'll see. All right, so here we go with this one. So this very nice box, not really is for our exhaust manifold. So this is a uh, nice, cheap eBay cast exhaust manifold. And we're gonna be rolling with this for the build for the foreseeable near future uh, because I wanted to uh, save myself a little bit of time and money as well um, and get this car on the road as a proof of concept to make sure everything I put together works. And then from there on, we'll build a very nice tubular manifold and we'll make that a nice project for all of us here. 
But for the meantime, this is what we have. So T3, T4 flange on here. Uh, and that's why we needed that adapter here to help us uh, uh, mate our turbo to this since our turbo is not a T3 or T4 flange. Here is our blow FL flange. Again, why we needed that other adapter to switch from two bolt flange over to the V-band, which is what we're gonna be using. And this bolts to the 12 valve VR6. Um, looks pretty flat, but we'll be getting this checked. And if it needs to, it will be machined. And the same is true for the T4 uh, flange in this case and the wastegate flange as well. But we'll leave this one here for now. And last but certainly not least, we have our turbo. So, V-band flanges for the inlet uh, on the turbine and the exhaust, so the downpipe side. These can stay in there. And then in here we have our turbo. So the turbo is again a Pulsar, uh, so we stuck with the Pulsar brand, uh, but this one is a copy of the GTX 3584RS. So um, supposedly capable of about 950 horses. We're not shooting for that much in this particular case. If I was, I'd be going for a bigger turbo, uh, but probably looking to make about 700 horses with this. And I think it'll get us there and uh, get us there without too much lag. Uh, since this is going to be a street car, 90% of the time, I wanted it to be fun to drive on the street, not just fun at 7,000 RPM. So um, just give you a quick look around the hot side here. So V-band inlet, which will make nicely to this here. And then we have the V-band outlet, uh, which we have the V-bands for, came with the turbo here. And then our compressor side, we saw the compressor wheel in here. Uh, the turbo itself does have a uh, ball bearing center rotating assembly. So the craw is ball bearing. Um, should lead to faster spools than what we had in, our few, in our, a few of our previous turbos. Um, and also just fun. Okay, so that's all I had for you today. Um, in the next few minutes, I'm actually gonna just keep recording uh, and put all this stuff on the car, but I'll show you that in the next video. Don't wanna make this one too, too long. Uh, so I'm just gonna start getting this stuff onto the car, uh, measuring, making sure everything will fit, and uh, then start fabricating for what we need to fabricate. And hopefully get this guy in there pretty soon. It's like the size of my head, actually a little bigger than my head. Holy shit. But anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Uh, thank you again for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit that notification bell icon, all that good stuff. Really appreciate it. Peace.